Nina Kapar takes us with an ethical review of research. Welcome everybody, my name is Nina Kapar and my team and I, it was actually a team uh, combined from Tilburg Law School and um, the social sciences, um, want to tell you about university-wide ethical review of research. We want to install a university-wide ethical review of research serving the rights of all our study participants while balancing the benefits of the research and the burden for the participants with a higher aim to enhance equality across research fields. And this would improve our university's quality and efficiency and improve the access to international grants and journals for our researchers. But before I explain the necessity of university-wide ethical review of research, and contrast this with opposing concerns, I want to share a story with you about the coming of age of ethical review of research at this university. Eight years ago, ethical review of research looked like this. Three researchers reviewing a handful of research proposals from researchers from medical and neuropsychology mostly. Over the years, the School of Social and Behavioral Sciences felt the increasing need for formalizing the ethical review. I felt this urgency when I became chair of the Ethics Review Board in 2010. Nationally, the psychology ethics committees um, actually made a joint effort to professionalize ethical review in the social sciences as well, accumulating in the National Code of Ethics for Social and Behavioral Sciences in 2016. Now the TSV Ethics Review Board consists of 12 members and 24 additional reviewers, providing ethical clearance for over 100 research proposals a year. Thus we have grown morally and operationally, but we can do better. I'm actually forgetting my slides. <laughs> um, we can do better take note of our social responsibility more closely, and improve our efficiency and availability for all researchers at this campus. So what is the extent of the problem? I will show you. These are all the different non-medical ethical committees in the Netherlands, with different colors representing different fields of research. And what is immediately obvious is that there are many of them with um, many areas of research, many different regulations, and unequal representation of research fields. And there is a lack of uniformity in regulation um, concerning the ethical clearance. And within universities, it is every ethics committee for itself. And here in this blow up, you see us. We have uh, social Sciences and Humanities Committee. But ethical review does not happen at law and ec economics. Moreover, the committees that we do have are operating completely autonomously from each other. And the situation I sketched is an unwanted one. We need to be bold and take that step further to remove the inequality between the schools and improve operational efficiency. So, I want to be clear, honest with you, and discuss some concerns as well. One might say that the ethical review of research in social and humanitarian sciences is still in its infancy. So why impose regulations on other schools so soon? Well, this has to do with our responsibility towards society. Delivering balanced and high quality research with respect for the study participant and we stand for honest and reliable research practice. Not at two schools, but at all schools. And one might put up resistance. I have experienced that over the years, and researchers who fear that their academic liberties will constrain by, be constrained by the ethical review. Researchers who fear bureaucracy and worry about long processing times. And I can reassure these researchers. And moreover, in the face of reality, 
of increasingly stringent European regulations, we need to have an efficient and professional answer. And our answer is an institutional review board with satellite committees covering all schools, thus uh, providing uniformity and equality in regulations while being sensitive to the individual field-specific uh, research practices. And if we do this, Tilburg University will be the first Dutch university to install the university-wide committee. We need your help making this happen. So please join us. Thank you.